Hi, this is Alan Carl, World Rider, and thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel. I'm just about to tee up a video that has me riding my bike from the uh, mountains of Montenegro to the coast, the Adriatic Sea coast. But the real action starts when I'm sitting down to have dinner at this restaurant owned by three brothers, literally with my feet in the sand. This is why I love food so much and why I love people so much. Hey, while you're at it, hit that little like button down there and subscribe to my channel. I got a lot of cool stuff coming. Thanks again. Here we are in Montenegro on the Adriatic Sea. Beautiful mountains here. This tunnel I, uh, I've yet to go through. The need to climb over these mountains as I did when I got here. Okay, there is a toll, as I was told in reading. I have no idea how much. But we'll soon find out. Uh, I don't carry a lot of cash, you know. Actually, I did go to an ATM, took out another 250 euros. Good lord. <laughs> Into, uh, what do you call it? Neutral up here at the toll is going to be a challenge. What do you think it is going to be? Two euros for the bike? These problems with the clutch. I don't know. Maybe my cable. I don't know. Ah, fuck it. Jesus. How much? Ah, shit. Thank you, I don't need that. I couldn't get the fucking thing in neutral. Yeah, right when I'm moving, I can't. Okay, you're not going to believe this. Actually, you will believe it because it's here. We've got it documented right on the film. But I am uh, at a place in, uh, I can't even pronounce it, but it's near Batichi. So a little seaside village here. There's a half a dozen restaurants and a few uh, souvenir stands and things like that here on the Adriatic. And um, I'm at a place called Tri Ribera. Tri Ribera, which means three fishermen, three brothers. Three brothers, actually. And uh, yesterday during my interview with Goran Redovich, he said, uh, I've got to come down to back to the Adriatic. I've already been here now. I've already been to Podrich, and now I'm back because i got to go to this restaurant. So a little bit of a struggle finding a hotel nearby. I didn't want to ride here. I wanted to walk here, and I did. And even walking here, look, there's not on the coast a lot of room for pedestrians. Trends. No, not a lot. Uh, and then if you do walk on the other side of the guardrails, uh, the cliffs just kind of drop off. So anyway, only about a kilometer, a little less than a kilometer to walk here from my hotel. All good. I've ordered some uh, clams. I've ordered uh, some, uh, I've ordered, picked out a fish. I'm going to actually have a, uh, uh, me talk me into it, swordfish, which I'm not usually a fan of, but he's got fresh fish lay right there. They clean all the fish for you at the table here. Um, and he had sea green, he had some monkfish, uh, quite a display. All fresh fish sitting on, they even had a barracuda, really long one. I'm like, wow, I mean, how is that? So you can just basically walk up, pick up your fish, um, they put it on the grill, they bring it to you. But he was very excited about the clams, the way that they're done in white wine and garlic. Uh, it sounds good. Everything's seafood here. They do have a couple dishes. They got like spaghetti bolognese and a, and a pork cutlet on there. But uh, I'm looking around. These people have some prawns over here. I saw another guy get a full fish. Uh, this is uh, this is the way you do it here in Montenegro on the uh, 
Adriatic coast. So we'll, we'll, we'll touch base a little bit later once the food starts dropping. I do need to get some wine. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Lemon. I'm so good at that. Okay, so the clams are here. We're going to do a pan over. Garlic sauce. Lemon and some toast. So uh, basically, uh, he loves this stuff. Okay, so this is his favorite thing. That's the son of the uh, of one of the brothers. So I guess okay, I gotta get I gotta get the lemon. And we're gonna squirt some on here. I've got a couple right here. Now you know how I am about garlic. I'm not afraid of garlic at all. I'm not afraid of garlic. I mean, why would anyone want to be afraid of garlic? Oh my god. Here we go. Oh, that's fresh. And that garlic is good. Lemon, garlic. Is there anything better on seafood? Ah. This is what I'm talking about. I got a little scooper thing here. Look at this. I just carry these things over. I just drop them down. You grab some lemon. You squirt the lemon on. And then you get the garlic sauce. Don't ever forget the garlic sauce. I mean, can you imagine? You ate these whole things and you forgot the garlic. I am missing wine. I got the beer, but I need some wine. Let me talk to my friend here. The, um, the Radovich wines are a bit overpriced. So I'm going to see if I can work a deal. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to give it my best shot. You know, you never know until you ask. Oh. I think I should just take this lemon. I should just take the lemon and just squirt it over everything. I mean, it's not really getting in everything. And you've got to take the garlic. Oh, throw the garlic around. Come on, just throw it on there. Where's my guy about the wine? I've got an appointment tomorrow with two women from Plantage. And, uh... 12.30. It's probably an hour and a half to get back there, and then I'm going to get lost, so I better base two hours. I'm still way behind in the blogging, but actually I'm writing. I'm just not getting them posted, but that's okay. As long as I'm writing, I feel good. Yeah. That's what I need to do. Keep writing. Keep writing. It's so wide, the Allen cam. I got it set for wide. Let's go see if I can change it. All right, now we're on, uh, we're less wide now. It's a little too close, no? But let me go and grab one of these clams. Right here. You see that sucker? Look at him. Whoop! Drip a little on the Allen watch. The Apple watch. Take the, uh, take the lemon. And then you have to take the garlic sauce. That's what I've been talking about. I've been talking about the garlic. Are you kidding me? The bread's kind of weak. Probably, maybe I put some garlic on it. Let's just try that. There's one cure for um, 
basic bread. Poor garlic. All right, now we're we're getting somewhere. My heart's gonna be good tonight. A lot of garlic. I still don't see that guy, and I don't. The, the, it's fifty euros for Radovich's wine on there. And I'm just. I don't need to spend 60 bucks. It's as much as my room to on a bottle of wine. So maybe I'd get something besides his, which I can't get this guy. Either. Alright, I'll report back in a bit. Okay, we're getting the uh, Vranek from Plantage. Should I give up for you? Okay, thank you. Thirty-five years. The other one was seventeen, half the price, which means it's eight years. I could probably try that tomorrow. Who knows what will happen at Plantage, but I want to learn about these varietals, the people involved in this research project. These are great clams. And this actually wine is wonderful. I upped the ante a bit. I didn't want, he brought, just like without even prompting, didn't bring a wine list. He just walked over with a bottle of wine, ready to open it. A Plantage, $17 euro. Rana. But we're having this one. We'll get a shot of it later. I did have their little blend. This is a state-owned vineyard. Although one article said there's 45% of the private investment. I'm sure I'll get a little insight into this tomorrow. But Goran at the old winery, who I had a chat with, you know, pushed his nose up at the Plantage saying, you know, the guy Tito planted the vineyard, the largest single plot vineyard in all of Europe. And he's like, you know, it doesn't have good soil, it's, uh, there was no water, they had to drill 50 meters down to get water. And, um, although listening to the lady today, you know, it's situated, you've got the Lake Scotter, the Adriatic, and then you've got these mountains just to the east. So, who's to say? I mean, I just don't know. Uh, Enough. I mean, this wine's very nice. This is a, a the break. I think it's twenty. Oh, yeah. oh. I need vegetables. I need vegetables. Swordfish sitting in front of me. I'm wonderful. Although it smells fishy. Okay, I put some lemon, I put a little bit of pepper on it. I'm gonna hit, uh, hold off on the garlic quite yet now, but uh, we'll see. Oh yeah, this is good. 
Ah, yes, we need tomatoes. We need some veggies with this, too. Huh? Finish. Ah, uh, let me see. Yeah, there you go. You are a legend. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you. I've got French fries. In well, the wine, the Veronica actually is really good. I don't know, it's just because my palate is desiring some wine now. But no, it's got, it could used to be, it's just a little bit cooler. How does that tomato look? Birthday going on over here. French fries. Montenegro. We should go put garlic on it. Ah, they turned the lights off to did the happy birthday. The scale. You know, when I was talking to the Albanian guys about the challenges of making wine, because they considering they only have very small parcels to work with, and you know, can't achieve scale where they're, and this, this is not just wine, this is farming, that they're unable to you know, really be successful because they need to have more volume. So the bottle a bottle of wine, bottle a bottle, to bottle wine, instead of just doing open wine, does increase cost. So the whole antithesis to that is Pantage, which I forget the numbers, but it was just stupid numbers. Stupid numbers. I'm 15 million gallons or whatever. I, 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 stuff I can't even quantify. But this barrique, they, I believe it's 24 months in the oak. Now that doesn't mean it's new oak, because it's not very oaky at all. But it's got great layers. And there's a little bit of vanilla, and there's uh, black cherry, and uh, Veronica is like the a, a grandfather grape, you know, you can say it's a grandfather to Primitivo maybe, I don't know if that's actually true, maybe even to a distant cousin of Cabernet, but it's definitely not a, um, a, a thin-skinned, weak grape. And I'm having a vintage that is, um, I think it's 2014. We're gonna throw the glasses on. We're gonna throw the glasses on to confirm that. Oh no! Wow! I am so off. Okay, no wonder this is so good. This is a 2009. So. I'll learn tomorrow about their plan, how much they hold these back. 2009. Wow. That's good. I need some more salt on these fries.
doing some Snapchatting, by the way, in case you're wondering. I mean, should I let this thing run? I mean, are you guys bored yet? No one's gonna watch this shit. I'm looking at a table which has got the owner, I think it's got at least one of the brothers, maybe possibly two of the brothers, and maybe daughters, maybe even granddaughters, it's, it's, it's hard to say, but nobody at that table has a device. Food is being delivered. This is definitely the family dinner right here. I believe they have one guest. You know, unless it's the third brother. I mean, I don't know. But there's a big plate of fish that has just come out. Wow. Yeah, that thing of bread. Lots of, um... It's not ramen. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's cheese. It's little cuts of cheese. There's like a tomato and onion salad. A bit more bread. Oh, they love the bread in the Balkans. I love the tomato. It looks like a great meal. I should be sitting with those fuckers. How cool. This is a tiny village, but yeah, we're only about a mile, maybe a mile and a half from Budva, which everybody I've talked to has told me it's a uh, development gone beyond control, out of control. Ah, lovely. You want to have some? You sure? Thank you very much. It's good. It's good. I want. Yeah, but it's... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Next time. All right. Okay, next time. You know, there always needs to be a next time. Oh, the first of all, this is showed up. And it's the guy I was trying to connect with earlier to see how he the fast team and run of it on that cheap. Looks good, eh? I kind of wish I had that. I don't mind all tomato. They call, they call this a tomato salad. But it's basically tomato. A bunch of sliced tomatoes. All right. I will shut up now. Drink the wine.